For the panbelo, prepare a 37 by 37 perfect square on your paper. Choose one angle. And from this angle, mark in 2 inches or 5 centimeters. From the other angle, fold the square until the mark. At the folded line, locate the half and draw a line. From the center line, mark in 7 inches or 17.5 centimeters, both sides. So that will be 14 inches in total. And mark out two sets of 7 inches or 17.5 centimeters each side and square up five lines. From the folded line, mark up three sets of 4 eighths of an inch or 1.25 centimeters. And square in three lines for folding references. Next, flip over to the right side of the panuelo and fold the panuelo three times. Make the lines your reference for folding. After folding, pin in place to hold the folds. From the folds, mark up another 4 eighths of an inch or 1.25 centimeters. Flip the panuelo to the wrong side and fold by 4 eighths of an inch or 1.25 centimeters wider. From the folds, mark up another 4 eighths of an inch or 1.25 centimeters. And transfer the pins to hold the folds. Flip again to the right side and fold by 4 eighths of an inch or 1.25 centimeters wider. And lastly, from the folds, mark another 4 eighths of an inch or 1.25 centimeters. Flip over to the right side and fold and use mark references to fold. Transfer the pins to hold the folds in place. And there you go. We're done. To hold the pleats or folds, you can sew the lines by hand or on your sewing machine. 
By the way, if you are wondering, the short angle is the wrong side. And the longer angle is the right side. To sew the panuelo, fold the edges twice and press. And top stitch the edges by 2 eighths of an inch or 0 0.6 centimeters. And sew three of the stitch lines before folding or pleating. And create the folds or pleats just like what we did in the pattern. And by the way, press the folds for a clean finish. Next, mark the three stitch lines that we did earlier. And finally, sew in place to hold the pleats or the folds. By the way, I found few beautiful lace appliques and I will place it here at the right side, here at the angle, to create motives for the panuelo. Since hand sewing takes time, I will sew the appliques using my sewing machine. And this is the panuelo complete with the lace motifs. And voila! And this is the camisa with the panuelo. This is the front view. This is the side view. And this is the back view. 